manufacturing gave us the opportunity to um, reduce the dependence on patterns and go straight to carbon moulds. We've grown, the company's grown up based around manufacturing tooling, uh, moulds and tooling etc for the Compsys industry. Uh, we've grown to probably the largest independent composite tooling company uh, that doesn't actually get involved in making composite parts in, in the UK. Currently we're working with uh, composite companies to uh, develop high temperature composite moulds rather than a traditional process of making a pattern and then uh, a mould from this pattern. Um, going straight to the mould, which is uh, far more economical, less labour, where I think we're in the process of trying to innovate this uh, standard and um, update this standard. We looked at the, um, the new technology with additive manufacturing and we saw that um, there's a big opportunity, especially for our main business, which is producing patterns and moulds for the carbon composite industry. The price of epoxy board was getting uh, very, very expensive. And we saw a large format uh, additive manufacturer as a possible way of making moulds without making patterns. Added to that also is the opportunity for recyclability of the materials, especially in a lot of the um, Formula One teams that we work for. Um, they are being driven very hard to reduce costs and reduce their carbon footprint. Generally for production fixtures you'd be looking at aluminium. Um, we can use the order PU board um, depending on the shape but again when you're looking at the PU board when you get to a certain size especially for large um, fixtures PU board becomes quite expensive you need to block it up solid so the weight of the um, tool the weight of the fixture um, becomes a becomes a problem to get over that problem you tend to have to re-machine and machine a lot of the material away um, so obviously because you can print to near net shape on this just with machine allowance and machine back um, you're using less material so it's more cost effective we've seen around about 25 to 30 um, percent reduction on time for lead time on manufacturing as opposed to um, the traditional traditional lacking method Material selection is, is, is very important. Um, it's always based upon the process it's going to be used for. Um, for instance, the mould tool, because that is an heated application, uh, we would choose a carbon-filled polycarbonate material, simply because of the heated application for the autoclave use. But when you come to the CNC trim fixtures, uh, it's not an heated application, it's an ambient temperature, room temperature application. So we can use a PETG material for that. Benefits and advantages of that, it's a lot cheaper material rather than the carbon filled material that we've used for the, um, the mold tool. It's been a really good and uh, relatively seamless process to learn the machine. I think it, it definitely comes from the ease of use of the software and the hardware together with uh, learning more about the extruder on the console. It's been uh, relatively simple with all the formatting that's been done. Then I've gone from design to, to printing, um, integrating the software and the hardware um, fairly seamlessly and it's, um, I've, I've felt confident doing that now within a short amount of time. So we work with uh, um, the automotive industry, the aerospace industry, and um, also the, the printer allows for variety to work in um, other industries such as films and uh, work for artists and custom tailored um, parts for clients that would like those uh, niche products. We were advised by people in the industry that Seed um, produced an industry leading extruder. So then we started to look at the Seed extruder and um, we found that a lot of the issues that we experienced in the past had been maybe um, solved 
already by seed on their extruder and built into the extruder. And we've been really, really pleased with, with the performance of the extruder. Mm -hmm.